In this video, we travel to Belgium when we're going to be using Bomb BE, and we're going to do a comparison between the Twig Razor and the Razor Rock Echo. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. We really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we travel to Belgium and use what used to be one of the Stallion's favorite soaps. This is Bomb BE, and uh, this is a more of a cream, I would say. Um, clean, fresh scent. Lightly scented, but it's clean and fresh. I got this from uh, Maggard Razors, and the label is in pretty rough shape, and I actually reached out to Maggard, and they said basically all of them look that way, so it's it's not very attractive. So, Bomb BE, you folks, if you're watching this, uh, I would love to see you take a little better, better care of those labels and maybe put something on them so they don't get so banged up. But anyway, uh, this comes to you $25.99 for 6.7 ounces on our cost chart there. That is a good price of $3.84 uh, per ounce. The bottom is uh, glass. The top is plastic. And again, this is out of Belgium. We'll show you the ingredients right there. And this used to be one of the, uh, the Stallion's favorite soaps or creams, as I said before. So we look forward to using this today. Uh, we're also going to be doing a comparison today between the Razor Rock Echo or Eco. It's uh, meant to be both economically uh, good <laughs> so, because it doesn't cost a ton and you don't have to uh, spend a lot for blades and uh, environmentally friendly because it's all metal and so on and so forth. So there you have it versus the twig. And, you know, you've seen me use the twig several times recently. And uh, Jeremy, the traveling shaver, loaned me this. I have owned this razor before, but I never could find a blade that felt real comfortable. Um, it provided for a good shave. And I liked it, but I didn't love it. And so today we've got it loaded up, uh, actually both with feather blades. The Twig by Leaf and the Razor Rock Echo or Eco. Uh, tail of the tape, the Twig comes in 2.4 ounces. The Echo, much lighter, 1.3 ounces. The Echo is made of aluminum. This one is probably some sort of uh, alloy. Uh, the Echo comes to you for $29.99 with 100 half DE blades. The uh, Twig comes to $59.99 for five blades, but it does feature a, a 30 back, a, a 30 day <laughs> guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can send it back and a lifetime warranty for the razor. So those, there are some details. Uh, on the loading, I prefer the twig. <laughs> I don't think it's any, uh, any surprise. And by the way, we have uh, feather blades loaded in each. You just twist on the twig and up it comes and around and it has magnets in there, keeps the blade in. Very, very cool. The loading goes hands down to the twig. It is very, very cool and I like it a lot. On the Echo, uh, pretty much you just lay it in the top cap and I'll unscrew it so I can show you here. You lay it in there uh, between those posts and just put the top on. And it's not, it's not, I wouldn't call it fidgety to load or anything like that. So both are easy to load, but the coolness of the loading definitely goes to the twig. So we're going to use these today and see how it goes. Let's get right into it. Uh, this is just plain water. Just applying some water to my face. We have our standard 24 hours of growth today. We'll be using a TDR, that darn Rob brush today. Uh, our usual suspect, the Captain's Choice Bow. I think we have a nice lather here with the Bomb B or Bomb BE. I don't know actually how to say that, but no surprise. <laughs> um, but this is just a clean, fresh scent. It's not going to blow you over. It's lightly scented for sure. You're not going to get a ton of scent out of this. Uh, so, but what you do get is just clean, fresh. I don't get a, bit, a citrus pop or anything. It's just, it's just kind of there and just kind of pleasant. It is not remarkable in scent, but uh, I think the, the uh, cream or soap, whichever it is, I can't recall, does make a good quality lather, which you can see here. And again, it's one of these soaps where we just, we travel the world and we're using soaps from all over and just showing you that, hey, most of this stuff works pretty doggone good and you can get products all over the world that lather well and easily, easily. Uh, ease of use in today's um, uh, traditional shaving hobby, I think is something to think about because as the artisans continue to push the envelope on the skin food, uh, the ease of lathering sort of has gone down some, in my opinion. And I say that using a ton of products, as you know. But these products just, they get it done very easy. You don't have to do anything special. And for me, that's always a, a win. Because quite frankly, I don't want to have to do anything special when I'm lathering. Okay, so let's start 
with the Echo or Eco on this side. And again, my issue with the Echo was I, I couldn't really find a blade that felt super smooth in it, although that feels great. And I'm wondering, since I've been uh, using so many straight razors and open blades, if this isn't going to feel like it did before. In other words, in other words, is my face sort of, has my face toughened up from using open blade? And it may have, because that first run there, it's feeling pretty good <laughs> with the Echo. Now this, you can feel a, a fairly good amount of blade, I think, with the Echo here. Um, kind of blade filly, and it's very, very thin at the same time, which makes, makes it an odd combination. I kind of wish uh, Razor Rock would make one of these in stainless steel. I think I might appreciate it more because it's a little more difficult for me to use a uh, a blade filly razor that's also aluminum because you tend to press a little more with aluminum because that weight is missing. But I must say that first pass there, it didn't feel bad. Usually against the grain or actually across the grain on my neck is when I tend to feel it. So we'll see how that goes. But um, that felt pretty good, but you can definitely feel some blade. Now, uh, the, the twig here, I think gets close to medium aggression. You can also feel some blade, but it's to me, it automatically, right now it feels smoother right out of the gate. I shouldn't say automatically, but I, I mean very early on with, within just making a few strokes, it just feels smoother to me. And that, that was really my, uh, sort of chief complaint, if I had one, with the Echo, which is why I got rid of it. I got good shaves out of it, I enjoyed it, but I didn't enjoy it really enough to keep it because it just lacked a little bit of smoothness, almost without regard to whatever blade I used. I tried a few different blades in it. I just never could get it to feel really great for me, but a lot of people really enjoy it. And it is priced very well. Before the next pass here, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you the difference in the head size, which is uh, pretty noticeable. You can see how large the uh, the echo is relative to the twig. Twig has a pretty slim head there, so hopefully that will sort of give you an idea. This is pretty slim, um, and that was a really nice first pass. Couple of announcements to make. Real talk will be coming up this Friday, so please. Uh, if you want to, if you want to see us discuss anything in particular on Real Talk, put some suggestions below. I would appreciate that very much. And also, we want to send our thoughts and prayers to Brian the Floridian. I will link his channel below. He lost his father-in-law um, just the other day, and uh, so our thoughts and prayers are with you, Brian, and your family. Um, there's been a lot of loss the last year or so, and uh, Brian, just know I'm thinking about you and. Uh, thinking about you and your family and just sending good vibes and thoughts and prayers. Also, Jeffrey Smith, um, his father has been ill too. And I just watched his video this morning and he was talking about that. And so, Jeff, we send our thoughts and prayers and we hope your father will recover well and swiftly. Just been a lot of illness and so on going on. My family as well, as you know. And so we just, we're wishing everybody the best. We really are. Again, nice lather here with the bomb. B, no problems at all on the lathering front. Easy to lather, um, characteristic of the European Shea products. Not finicky, they just get it done and quite easily. And I, I like that, honestly. Um, sometimes the artisanal tendency to push skin's food so much um, recently has, has got me really <laughs> Like, I'm, you know, almost getting tired of it. Like, just stop. Just give me something that's easy going and easy lathering. That's all I need. But, of course, that's just my use case. And here is where the Echo just doesn't feel as smooth as I was like on this pass. Um, it's not overly rough, but it's not, I don't know. It just lacks a little bit of smoothness for me, and that's why I got rid of it. And in feeling the, you know, the first few strokes there, it has not changed. I, I, it still comes across just a little bit feely for me there. And I don't know why I'm going against there because I should be going across, but no worries. We'll 
will uh, come down and around there. But the Echo is certainly a, a nice shaver. And by the way, if I didn't mention before, these use half double-edged razor blades. So you can uh, buy 100 uh, DE blades and snap them in half, and you got a good value there. Good. Or, you know, you can buy the half DE blades that are already pre-snapped if you like. But for me, I just like using the D blades I already have and just snap them in half and get more shaves out of them. So it is a very economical solution, uh, to be sure. And I do really appreciate that. So let's come down and around here. Actually, let's go. The twig is definitely smoother for me on this pass. So I think I can pretty much conclude now that for me, Without even going any further, I just really prefer the, the shave the twig provides on the neck. By the way, changing subject a little bit, it's cold outside today. It is, uh, it was about 15 degrees, which I, which Fahrenheit, which I believe is like minus 9.4. Like it's not as cold as it gets. It sometimes gets colder. I mean, but that's pretty chilly and it's, uh, I can't wait for spring. <laughs> Very nice and smooth with the uh, twig. Tell you what, the, the twig has the smoothness certainly dialed in for me. It fits me very well. I would call it mild, far end of mild to just the entry level of medium, maybe. Uh, whereas I think the the uh, Echo is solid, solidly in that medium right out of the gate and maybe upward in the levels of medium but um, for me the uh, the twig here I've just appreciated it every single shave and I had a conversation with the inspector the other day about it and I was telling him I said I kept using it because I was really looking for something that I didn't like about it like sort of I was trying to figure out whether I was just in love with it because it's new and I just kept using it I think this is my sixth or seventh time, and every single time I just come back going, this is a really good shaver, um, and it really just, it works well for me. And I, more importantly, it's very enjoyable to use, and uh, that for me is key, the enjoyment factor. All right, so let us get our final lather going here, and again, don't forget Real Talk on Friday, and give me uh, some suggestions on topics below, please. We appreciate that, always. By the way, this knot is a uh, AP Shave Co. Sinbad. If you are interested, very, very soft, very, very nice. And I got a little more water in, in, the, uh, in the lather here on this last pass than I really need, but that's okay, it's still fine. Still easy going, no bubbles, no troubles, no problems. Um, as DK often says, you don't really need a super hydrated lather, but I will say, in my own experience, um, it does help with the slickness, uh, especially with straight razor shaving, if you are new. Because if you're new, what happens is your passes tend to take longer on straight razor shaves. So by the time you get finished with one side of your face, it's starting to dry out if you don't have a lot of hydration. Hydration does add to slickness, unless you're killing your soap with it, which in that case, you know, it starts to go the other way, but generally speaking, um, having a nice hydrated lather certainly is advantageous. However, you can, um, you can certainly shave with a, a lather that isn't super hydrated. I used to make my lathers that way, but I changed it because of straight razor shaving. And again, here I'm feeling more blade with the Echo or Eco, Eco. I think it is a good value razor though. Um, I don't know where the Echo is made because it didn't say, or if it did say on the website, I missed it. The uh, the twig is made in China. I did have one user who, um, who told me they received their twig and it was seized up and would not open. Uh, and sir, please let me know how that goes. I'm sure that the folks at Leaf will take care of you and get that resolved. Leaf is, Leaf is known to have pretty good customer service, so if you have an issue, I'm sure they will stand behind their product. I'm sorry yours, uh, you seem to have gotten a bad one. Um, 
and I'm sure they'll take care of you. But please let me know. I'm interested to, to see how they handle that customer service issue. But based on what I've heard from people, they are very good to to take take care of uh, any issues. So I certainly expect that of Leaf. All right. So with the Hawk today, or excuse me, it looks like the Hawk, but it's not the Echo. Uh, nice shape. I would say not as smooth as I'm accustomed to, and certainly not as smooth as the Twig here. But it is a little more efficient. So if efficiency is your thing, you know, you might lean towards the Echo there. Um, this one to me, however, feels like a more a smooth, easy, daily driver type of razor. I think the shave will come out pretty much the same, you know, ultimately, because I'll make the adjustments necessary to make it come out the same. But um, when we uh, when we finish up, we'll wrap up and tell you what we think of each razor. Both are good values. Both will allow you to stretch your dollar um, because you're using those half DE blades. And, you know, you can get most DE blades for around... A hundred pack for as little as seven dollars, and depending on which blade, the feathers here are more expensive. Um, but most of your blades are between ten to twenty dollars for a hundred. And so with this, uh, with these type of razors, which are used in half, you can really get a good value. And let's finish up with our twig side here. And it's just been a very nice, enjoyable shave. The Bomb BE was nice. Both razors were nice. Again, you know, my preference here is the Twig. Um, it continues to impress and hit the mark for me. But the Echo is no slouch. Both very good value. I love that slim head on the Twig. That really, uh, I don't know, it does something for me. And I hope to see more razors with slimming down the heads as much as they can because it just feels more nimble. So... You know, again, showing you each a big, big difference there. Okay, let me rinse and then we'll come back, get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse and then we used our alum. That was definitely more stinging on the Echo side, which is no surprise. I find the Echo not to be quite as smooth um, as I like. More stinging on this side, just a little bit over here on the twig side, on the neck. Uh, and then... We uh, did a cold water rinse, followed up with our Magic Made by Witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. Um, the Bomb BE today was very good, no problems whatsoever. A no-nonsense European shave product, very nice, no problem. Uh, the razors for today, for me, um, it's, it's pretty decidedly in favor of the Twig. It's smoother and for me more enjoyable uh, to use. I love that slim, slim head, however, the Echo is no slouch if you can find a blade that you can, uh, if you can find a blade pairing for it that makes it smooth out a little bit. For me, it just needs a little bit of smoothness, but otherwise, very nice half DE razor, good value, well made. Both are, um, I think, nice razors, again, but I prefer the Twig quite a bit over the Echo, just my opinion. And uh, of course, we use today the That Darn Rob, Brush, which is uh, beautiful and we're going to finish it out today with good old lucky tiger this is just a toner smells nice got kind of a citrusy sort of vibe to it maybe orangish and we'll close the shave out today and i hope wherever you are you're having great shavers and if you get the leaf please or excuse me if you get the twig please let me know below how you like it and if you're a fan of the echo please let me know below as well and also give us those topics for real talk if you please Thank you so much. I hope you have a terrific day. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, and I'm reminding you, it's your shape. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.